They are the voices for the most vulnerable in Pima County. And they do need that voice. No Kill Pima County workers help pets find homes that otherwise may have a harder time than others. Welcome to the show, Justin Pope with No Kill Pima County and his wife, Karen. They're here with uh, one of those dogs, Zaria. I hope I said that correctly. Yes. Six month old foster puppy. And oh. can we just say she is the sweetest dog I think we've yes. had on in a long time. And so docile and she's so, you know, just look at her right now. This is a puppy. Six this is the old. perfect puppy, by the way. She's she just really laying is. back, leaning against you. Yeah. Tell us a little Happy about girl. her. So Zarya came in to our rescue um, about uh, four months ago. She and her litter of five at Parvo, we lost two of the puppies, but three of them survived. It was a long road, but we got them all healthy. And now they're ready for adoption from In the Arms of Angels. Now, I have to ask this question, although I probably already know the answer to it. Is she good with other pets? She's very good with <laughs> other dogs, yes. Um, she's very interested in cats, although she hasn't chased any of them, but oh. she's interested in them with okay. her ears from her cat. A little curiosity yeah. is okay, cool. right? And mm -hmm. so what's important is that she's healthy and she's ready uh, for a home. And of course, yes. uh, p people really need to consider her because she's so sweet. Um, so tell us a little bit more about what your mission is and what the goal is. So Save the Savable is a campaign from No Kill Pima County. Um, our goal is to sort of uh, network the most vulnerable pets, mm -hmm. um, both at our county shelter and with other rescue groups. So um, animals like Zaria here who had medical needs, mm -hmm. you know, she's totally healthy now. Um, you know, we, we want um, to get the word out and we want mm -hmm. to support animals that that need a little extra help. We're so appreciative of what you do because it does take a lot of extra work. We know puppies are already difficult to handle. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but but this she's the exception though. I mean, is she always like this? Yes. Yes. She You're is. kidding she's, me. She's a sweet dog. So she's not rambunctious like the other well, ones that you would see. If you she want to play be. with the other dog, yeah. yeah, she can. Well, and there's a variety of ways that people can help, right? I mean, it's it's of not course. just one thing that you can do. You can do multiple things. You can, you know, foster, of course. But what are the options for people to right. pitch in and help you guys out in any way? So that obviously, adopting both from the county shelter, other shelters, yeah. and from rescues, you know, that's a, a key thing. Um, fostering is important. We have both short and long-term foster opportunities, again, with the shelters and with rescues. Mm -hmm. um, we're always looking for donations. Um, we have uh, financial uh, programs that we do to support both pets in the shelter and also to help keep pets in homes so mm -hmm. they never have to go to the shelter. Um, and of course, we always uh, encourage people to volunteer because if you, even if you can't donate money, if you can volunteer some time, right, it uh, means everything. Just going to down them. and walking dogs, giving them mm -hmm. a break from kennels is is really helpful. I saw this really cool thing a couple of weeks ago where track teams in high schools are going to yes. some of the shelters and they're running with the dogs every day. It was such a brilliant idea. Yeah, we and have some programs like that at, at Pima County too. Okay. Uh, so there are there are guest walker um, things mm -hmm. like that, but you know we just want people to come and and spend time with them and help them. I know that it's probably very rewarding when they get adopted. Do you yes. still stay in touch with some of the families that take in? We like to, yes. they like to send us pictures Aww. and updates. Those mm -hmm. are always good to see. And, and we are always sad to let them go, but we're also glad to, because that means that we'll be able to help another animal. Right, mm-hmm. So, you know, on our on our website, savethesavable.com, we have um, several albums of, of some of the most vulnerable animals at PAC, um, animals that need to go to fosters, um, animals who are seniors, so mm -hmm. dogs and cats who are you know older and, and we wanna get them into homes instead of having to be in a kennel. Um, and we have Mickey here on the screen. He's currently the longest stay dog at PAC. He oh. came in in March. He's still looking for a home, mm -hmm. so we're hoping we can find him a place too. That's right, and I mean, you did mention, you know, we're talking about foster care, yes. uh, fostering a dog. For someone who's maybe considering that, talk about the experience. If they're on the edge of, you know, should I do it? What's mm -hmm. the benefit, uh, et cetera? I mean, a little goes a long way, basically. It does, you know, we just ask that you welcome them into your home, um, give them love. Mm -hmm. uh, there's really not a lot you have to do except provide a loving home for them. And, and uh, for a first time foster, choosing an older dog who maybe doesn't yes. have all of the puppy right. problems. Yes, Good point. Um, a lot of advantages to an older dog. Yeah, and to possibly get one who is already healthy and not sick would probably be a good start. Mm -hmm. Good head rub too, mm -hmm. look at that. She likes the head rub, that's what she enjoys. 
She's like nothing other than a perfect <laughs> puppy that I've ever seen, I mean, especially when she just leans up against you. She's a good cuddler. She has two brothers who are up for adoption too. So oh, that's good it's good to know. Sweet. Thank you guys for what you do. Thank right. you. Hopefully Thank you, you get some calls for some new volunteers. And if you would like to adopt a Mickey or learn more about saving other vulnerable pets here in Tucson, you can call 520-477-4401 or, or you can visit savethesavable.com.